Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Writer? Playwright? Writer of plays, my name is J.M. Nels. Or Jane, like whatever you want to call me. But I wrote a play. It's called The Merchant with the Jew Fro. I'm basically the next Tennessee Williams. The Merchant with the Jew Fro? What? Are you serious with this title? Hi, my name is Remington Moses. I will be playing the part of Jane in J.M. Mills. Hi, I'm Sarah Hadikow. I'm playing Jane's girlfriend, Chloe. Hi, my name is Nicola Rose. I'm playing the role of Blanche Le Cahier. Hi, I'm Jackie Forbes, and I am the creator and executive producer of J.M. Nels. J.M. Nels details the story of Jane Nels, who is a playwright trying to get her play produced in New York City, but what she doesn't realize is that she is an absolutely abysmal writer. Jane is a wonderful and amazing character. She is very, very vain, very self-centered, and um, very passionate about what she does. I'm only 22 years old, but I have a dozen scripts under my belt that have been incredibly well received by those that have been fortunate enough to view them. And now I've got my eyes on Broadway. I am so excited about this project and for so many reasons, but one of the big ones for me is that this is a very woman-centric script. Latimer, if I had only known, allow me to love your blessed brain alone and never touch your manhood again. So this play that has all of this old-fashioned, pretentious language uses terms like ace. Chloe is a very grounded character. They balance out each other really well. Chloe loves Jean for, for her creativity and her free-spiritedness. She basically pours everything she has into supporting Jane's artistic pursuits. Chloe sort of becomes a little bit of a catalyst for some of Jane's transformations. What about you, French lady? It's Blanche. Hi, Hi Blanche. Um, Blanche is an actress from Paris who becomes involved in Jane's playwriting endeavors. And I like this character because uh, she's French and she's a pragmatist and not much of an optimist and she infuses the situation with her own interesting perspective. You were shouting something about your First Amendment rights. I believe it was quite amusing. You tried to staple his hand to a table. Okay, let's stay on topic. As with my former series, Letters to Quentin, I don't feel that there is enough LGBT representation, and I feel like YouTube is a great venue to tell these stories. This web series is going to be a really cool project. Um, it's, it's an inspiring story about finding your true calling told through really funny circumstances and some, and some awesome characters. I believe that indie film is a wonderful way for artists to get to communicate their voices to people, artists who wouldn't necessarily get to do so otherwise, and this is a great medium for it, which is a big reason to donate. And it is so exciting to play parts that really are challenging and different, and characters that are really flawed. Donate. Make a difference.